from thrift and honest toil, built upon a granite soil, strong and rugged there it stood, built up for the country's good. Tough times have changed the spirit bold, is still the spirit which will hold. Exactly 100 years ago today, on April 10th, 1906, began the construction of this gigantic heritage landmark building of Kolkata. The headquarters of erstwhile Bengal Nagpur Railway. Today's Southeastern Railway. A marvel in Indo-Saracenic architecture. Completed all within one year at a princely outlay of 7,1995 rupees. The burgeoning operation anew in walked Mr. J. Manson. The agent in May 1907 into this office. The rest, as they say, is history. Each red brick of the building passionately reverberates with the epic journey that started off on March 9th, 1887 with traffic from Nagpur to Bilaspur by Bengal Nagpur Railway. Sir T. R. Winnie, a bright young engineer from the Royal Engineering College UK, had joined the railway company by then. He steered the organization through as agent, chief engineer and subsequently chairman shaping the destiny of the organization with a 53 year long tenure. The building was probably designed with the future in focus for it has structurally remained unaltered. Look through the corridor, right up to the agent's chamber and you can almost see through forever. Now what is that? A cracked glass? Right, but no matching glass to replace it. Wooden and wrought iron spiral stairway still look new as now. The very fact that the building stands today up to 100 years shows how well the building has been constructed. It's spread over 53,000 square feet. Architect of this building was one Mr. Esch and the chief engineer was Mr. Saunders. The ground floor of the building is basically of Doric style whereas the first floor is of Ionic style. You will notice that there is hardly any embellishment. The building is functional and there has been an attempt to portray simplicity and economy. Now, peep into the heritage room to catch up 
with the good old days. It's a treasure trove of glorious history. The imposing building stands on the quiet southwest suburb of Kolkata, where Europeans and Britishers resided once. Right on the reach of the river Hooghly, opposite the famous botanical gardens, with the imposing second Hooghly Bridge. As you can see, the building is square shaped. With large central quadrangles. If the majestic structure takes your breath away, just look up and see the dome. An ingenious design that concealed service water tanks to enhance the aesthetical splendor of the architecture. I thank God for having given me such a long life to give me the opportunity of conveying my gratitude to one and all in the Southeastern Railway who were the criteria of molding me into one of the finest hockey players in the world. In this compound is BNR House, the general manager's residence. Styled on the basis of the famous Metcalf House in Kolkata. Sir T. R. Winnie spent many years in this house with his family, enjoying the refreshing breeze in its garden. In the hallowed portals of this building, You can still feel the presence of Nawab Wajid Ali Shah of Awadh, the Mughal poet king who contributed so much to the development of the Garden Reach Colony and Metya Buruch Township. This is where the birth of a great organization took place. There was a railway yard, river line traffic, and all the other peripherals that are required. There was a hub of activity all around the headquarters that was created at Garden Reach. From there it became a symbol of growth for this railway, for this country and for this region. Behind the main building is this beautiful garden. Here, India's first ever barrage balloon was flown by a Royal Air Force squadron. Across the garden are the almost identical Godfrey mansions. the officers' quarters of the colonial era. Close by, you'd find this vintage telltale signal. Dating back to 1847. Man, they say, does not live by bread alone. As we work in this magnificent building, our thoughts go back to the wonderful BNR pioneers who made this building possible. They built this wonderful structure in the wilderness and then we think of what can be. 
following on its glorious past. Southeastern Railway shall continue to record milestones on its continuous journey of progress which has made it the blue chip railway of Indian history.